the best way for us to get together socially is to do something positive at the outset of our conference. So that's why I asked you to have money to do it. Yeah. getting together and meeting each other for the first time. The fact that we get to facilitate it is just, I don't know, it makes me happy. I to see all the smiling faces. Thank you for coming, Phil. Thank you for putting this together. Really Thank awesome. you so much, man. This is really cool. All right. Say, uh, the vision for this organization is exactly this. Packing the room with all these people, it's so exciting. Um, you're our first group that you're here, so give yourself a round of applause. For that. I just want to share a brief little bit about myself, a little bit about my past history. Um, in 2004, after being in and out of the doctor for about a year, I had lost about 40 pounds, night sweats every night, hip pains, fevers. Doctors didn't really know what was wrong with me. I was real nervous going into surgery. The next day, about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, my dad came home and he sat down on the side of my bed and he said, Phil, I don't know how to tell you this, but I talked to the doctors and you have cancer. And I really just broke down. You're on your hospital bed and everything's stripped away from you. It just makes such a big difference to know when life slows down, and I know you guys all do the positive blogging, but everything's not the positive blogging that's going on. So once all those things are stripped away and you have quiet, you know, really you start asking questions, you know, where am I going to go, all these types of things if I'm not going to make it. And through it, I really had people who came to my bedside and supported me when I was going through it. that were important to me during my journey. The first one was somebody put a care package together for me, and they all signed their names for it and said they're praying for me. The second thing was a woman named Judy sent me a card once a week in the mail. Every Monday, she was faithful, and that card was in the mail, said, I'm praying for you, I'm thinking about you. And when you're too sick to get off the couch, when you're too sick to get out of the hospital, and that card is always showing up, it just really makes your day. Thank you to everyone for showing up. We have ceiling tiles in, we have furniture moved, um, so many cancer patients are going to get weekly cards in the mail, all because of what you guys took time out of your day to love one another. So I appreciate it and look forward to the next time we can meet again.